Welcome to Swope Park in Cottonwood Falls, Kansas. The park consists of a variety of playground equipment, some picnic shelters, and they even have a pool. I understand the pool has got showers in it too. To add to the entertainment of this small town, it looks like they've got uh, quite an extensive this golf course out here. Cottonwood Falls is part of the Flint Hills area of Kansas. And uh, they took advantage of the uh, rocks here to create what they call Cottonwood Stonehenge. They incorporate it into their disc golf system. Located on a pull-off next to this barn here, is the dump station with rinse water. The RV camping area consists of six parking areas with the cement pads and shared electrical and water. These cement pads are uh, interesting. There are two of them and they're not necessarily level, but uh, they're better than parking on the ground. At present, I'm the only RV in here, so uh, I don't have to share my water, so I don't have to put my uh, Y adapter on the faucet. But it's good pressure. When it comes to electricity, well, <laughs> they've got a uh, 30 amp. And they got a 50 amp, and they got a couple of uh, 20 amps in there. So you're kind of uh, limited as to what electricity you can share. Have to make sure you bring your adapters along. They do have plenty of garbage disposal bins all over this place, so you don't have to worry about that. As you can see, the fee for this place is $15 per night. And it's self-pay. You just uh, get an envelope, and you fill it out, put your money in, and you put it in the deposit box. Well, one nice thing about this place is got electricity, and I got air conditioning. And if you know anything about Kansas, you know that air conditioning can come in handy. As for this place, well, we've got a uh, dump station kind of far away. And uh, for $15, you'd think there'd be septic hookups on each site and uh, better shared electrical and water. But uh, it's a convenient place if you don't want to drive too far. I mean, it's like uh, 20 miles from Emporia and another 40 miles to, I think it's Hillsboro. And there's some... Uh, inconvenient hills around here. But I'm not going to stop here as a regular basis. Uh, maybe if I just feel tired and just want to stop someplace, sure. I'll pay the $15 to stay here, have the conveniences. But normally, in this part of Kansas, I would just normally just, just drive right by. But still, I think it's worth uh, stopping here, checking it out, check out the town. Just, you know, it just experience something different. Maybe go into town and look at the falls. And there's not much uh, else in town. <laughs> Still, I, I would tentatively recommend this place to other people stopping by. Just, just check it out. Never hurts.